Hey, this is Stephen C., the Omad Man. Okay, able to, as a superhero, I am able to go to a pizza buffet or Chinese buffet and just walk on by. I go to the cheese section in, in the grocery market and I don't even care because uh, although I was obsessed with food, and this is look this is before and after me, look how big I was there, over 200 pounds, well, not over, I was 200 pounds, and now I am 150. And... Uh, Again, there is me here too. I was a hungry, hungry man. I had fake hair. I was I'd pay 120 bucks a month for that hair, but I didn't do nothing about. Oh, I'm so hungry. It looks like I get eat myself. And we have a guest on our show. Um, we have Dr. Berg. Dr. Berg, hello. Yes. Hey, Stephen. Uh, how are you doing? Well, I just wanted to ask you, uh, why do I got so much energy now? Well, it's because you were walking around with 50 extra pounds. Whoa. I didn't even think about that. Well, let me tell you one thing. If you offer me a pizza before five, five's my eating window. If you offer me a big burrito or any kind of fried chicken or food or any kind of restaurant, I will not be tempted. I'm serious. I want to tell you something. This was me. I eat one plate a day. I lost 50 pounds and now today is 100 day 112. Yesterday was my lucky day, 111 and it's 11th month. A little mystical there. But um, I just wanted to say for my viewers, um, I didn't even want to make another video because I was at 160. I had a plateau for like a month. And I'm going, what's going on? I gotta, I'm got i OMAD man, I gotta be 140. So um, I tried to do 10,000 steps a day. That didn't help. Sorry, you can't outrun your fork. Um, and uh, then I, I've, so I just start, I just, you know, ate just a little bit less and absolutely no, that's just what I did. And I just stayed with it. And a couple weeks later, it went down. And um, again, here's another picture of me before and after. And um, I just wanted to really quickly say um, that uh, I have a couple little notes here that uh, OMAD for me is not just a way of life now. Because if you want to eat, try one meal a day and you tell, you tell your friends, first off, don't tell anybody because nobody will understand. And the second thing is you have to like you try to get better at piano, you try to get better at chess, you try to get better at tennis, you try to read the Bible, you try, whatever you try to get better on, you have to do it on a daily basis, like watering your plant. You've got to read up, you've got to watch these YouTube videos. I used to watch the same guy on YouTube over and over on OMAD, social situations, what to do and this, and, and not to tell people. I didn't tell anybody for the first two months and everybody started noticing. And then, you know, and... Uh, so you got to do that, and um, now I'm at 150. I still want to get down to 140, and I know I'll go down to 140 because I only eat at five o'clock, five to seven. I can't even think about food. If you want to give me a free pizza pie, anytime be, be before five, there's no way I would even consider eating it. I'm almost angry thinking about it. Okay, well this is. I want to make a quick video and update. Tell you that I'm down to 150. All you have to do, take one plate of food, and people go, but but how but what can I eat? What can I look? I take a little, I take some salad, put some dressing, a little bit of beans if I want, I can a little chicken breast, whatever you like. You know, with one plate, you can't get more than 13 or 1400 calories. And the one thing is you're you're not gonna be thinking about food in the morning or in the afternoon. Because you're going to eat your one meal at night. At least I do. If you're going to eat in the morning, then you have a whole day. So, uh, But it's going to take your mind off eating. And uh, just want to say to my OMAD people, like and subscribe and all that kind of cool stuff. All right, bye.